Hello all, my name is Krishnag and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be discussing how did I study deep learning in just 2.5 months. Now guys, uh, this is just not a clickbait. Uh, this 2.5 months was very, very, uh, you know, I had to work very hard. Uh, I have to give more amount of hours in learning deep learning because the major thing in deep learning is that you need to have very good maths concept. Uh, because just to understand, if you don't know about deep learning, guys, it is all about developing neural networks. Okay, there are three types of deep learning techniques that you have, which is called as artificial neural network, convolution neural network, and recurrent neural network. Uh, we'll just discuss about this and how you can study from where you can basically study uh, deep learning. I'll be telling you how did I study? What are the problems that I faced? We'll be discussing that too. Now to begin with guys, uh, uh, initially, uh, as you know that when I became a data scientist, I did not have that much knowledge in deep learning. I was very good with machine learning because I had spent more amount of time with that. But one or the other day, I understood that deep learning is a necessary part if you want to become a data scientist because any kind of projects may come up in a company, right? So I started learning deep learning. My first teacher from where I was actually learning deep learning was Andrew NG and uh, the videos are uh, available in the YouTube and the Coursera channel itself, right? So the the main thing when I was learning about Andrew NG videos, I was able to understand some of the topics and some of the topics I was not able to understand because initially my maths was not good. Uh, now, when I say my maths was not good, I'm not saying in terms of academia level, okay? In academy, uh, when I was studying in colleges uh, or in engineering, my maths was actually good, but I was not able to relate that into a real world scenario. And that is the thing that you require when you're learning deep learning. Okay, so maths plays a major part over there because uh, if you just consider all the types of operation that happens in each and every neurons, if you are able to understand, if you are able to understand some good algorithms, which is called as back propagation algorithms very efficiently, and what is gradient descent, uh, what is vanishing gradient descent, and definitely you'll be able to understand. The main thing in deep learning is just not implementing the code, guys. It is basically understanding the theoretical purpose of that neural networks of which neural network you are basically working with. And this is what I learned from Andrew NG videos. Now, the problem with some of the problem with Andrew NG videos is that he's already a PhD guy. You know, he has a lot of experience. Now, me, a B.Tech guy will not be able to understand at that level, at what level he's basically talking, right? And it may, you may also face this kind of problem. So here were some of my mentors who were very handy in this particular case. I have some of my friends who are doing their masters in very good colleges like IITs. I used to ask them a lot of queries and finally, uh, you know, they were able to help me out. And by that, I was able to grasp a lot of knowledge. Apart from that, I referred various articles, various vlogs, various YouTube channels to understand that. If you have not seen my deep learning playlist, please go and see that because uh, that, that playlist actually shows that how I have improved my theoretical knowledge with respect to deep learning. And I've also implemented practical projects over there. And just in a couple of weeks, I'll be completing that whole playlist. So the playlist name is complete deep learning playlist. Okay. So just go and see over there, see the maths part, how I've actually explained you considering a real world scenario. So that is the major thing that is required to learn deep learning. Apart from that, guys, if you are planning to just complete in two or 2.5 months, because I told you that machine learning took me somewhere around three months, right? And as soon as I got into a data scientist kind of job, I was just having a basic knowledge of deep learning. I was just not having the practical implementation knowledge. So I had to basically understand and finish up the deep learning syllabus as quickly as possible since I was actually working as a data scientist itself, right? So it was very, very important for me. So I took up that challenge. I spent around three to four hours daily. And now, and I, when I say that I've completed in 2.5 months, I'm not saying that I've completed the whole deep learning, guys. Deep learning is also vast. A lot of advanced deep learning is also, techniques are also coming. So it is that, Deep learning, I've learned in such a way that at least if there are some projects I could able to handle. Now, apart from that, there are more advanced deep learning techniques like object detection. There are something called as RCNN, you know, uh, YOLO algorithms and many more things, right? And nowadays I'm also focusing on unsupervised uh, deep learning techniques. Now to begin with guys, how do you study deep learning? First of all, you need to be, if you are a Python developer, please be handy with the TensorFlow library. That is must, guys. 
I know that many of you think that the Keras library is much more better than TensorFlow, but don't 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 directly just jump into a uh, Keras library, guys. Understand TensorFlow how it works, because when you are developing with the help of TensorFlow libraries, you'll be able to understand how each and every neuron is basically constructed, how each and every operation you are basically able to code within the uh, neuron itself in that neural network architecture. So it is very, very important that you go through the TensorFlow architecture, the whole programming of TensorFlow. I initially felt TensorFlow was difficult. So what I did is that I made a very quick uh, jump to the Keras library, which was pretty much simple. But after some time, I understood the main problem behind like if I don't understand TensorFlow, what is the problem that I may face in Keras, right? So I made sure that I, I, I did a very good handy job with respect to TensorFlow. I was able to learn it properly. I was able to understand how each and every layers are basically constructed, how the back propagation algorithms work. And then I jumped into Keras. Nowadays, I'm also making sure that and I'm learning PyTorch, which is the newest library that has come. And yes, after some days, I'll also be uploading videos on that where you can basically learn. And I'll be completing that in my same complete deep learning playlist, uh, which is, uh, I think there are around 22 videos that I have already uploaded. So guys, the major thing is that if you want, if you are planning to learn deep learning, just don't learn like that. Please put up your time, you know, make that dedication unless and until you don't do give that dedication, you'll not be able to understand guys. And I'll say you that deep learning is a little bit more difficult than machine learning. It is just not. Uh, you know, some math that is uh, happening just like a, a, we see in machine learning algorithm, right? There are some chain of maths that is involved in deep learning techniques that you need to understand, you know, and uh, if, if you just say that deep learning uh, requires GPU also to just, you know, pro, uh, execute your programs, it is just not simple. There is a whole lot of time investment. There's a whole lot of investment for the GPUs also. So how do I execute? How do I do it? Initially, I did not have GPUs, right? And initially for me to learn, I used to hire some VMs where they used to provide provide some GPUs for execution. One of the URL that I've already mentioned in my previous video is paperspace.com. Please go over there. You'll be able to get very good GPUs at the rate of like 0.5 dollars per hour, 0.8 dollars per hour, and that depends on the type of GPUs that you are selecting. So, guys, the major important thing is that anything that you want to learn consider these two factor one is time management the other one is dedication make sure you spend that time if you have plan to complete something you spend that much time to complete it now and complete in such a way and again guys these all topics are a continuous learning process as new and new algorithms and new and new techniques will come up you have to learn that also so i love this particular subject because there is no end of this particular subject right it is increasing many people are doing a lot of research many research papers have come up you know with different different topics and that is the best thing about you know the machine learning and the deep learning techniques every day i i see some blogs i get some new knowledge you know i i I always I'm, I'm always curious I'm always curious to solve some new new things with respect to deep learning also if uh, uh, if I just say uh, algorithms like object detection you know and uh, you know uh, annotating uh, I mean annotating the images and creating the data set and then trying to apply computer vision along with deep learning and try to create a very good uh, you know applications in short is the best thing uh, I think you love it because when you are doing that kind of projects automatically the seriousness and the interest will definitely come up you know and uh, when I say that after learning deep learning I also learned uh, computer vision simultaneously because I need to work with live video streams from webcams from cameras and all and this was the best thing how you get to learn something new and you know uh, when you have this many things around you and so much growth around you, definitely you'll have that particular interest. So if you're planning to learn both machine learning and deep learning, guys, I'll tell you, I'll suggest you that deep learning is a little bit more difficult than machine learning, not as simple as machine learning with respect to the coding also. Because uh, if you want to clear that TensorFlow library, you have to spend a lot of time if you want to understand that particular library. So this was all about this particular videos, guys. Uh, I hope you understood how you can go ahead and understand deep learning and how you can basically learn definitely go and look onto my playlist complete deep learning playlist and just try to see that how that particular playlist is many people have liked it and understand the explanation that i have given over there 
is completely from scratch so you can just understand that how much time i have may have invested in that and it is just not simple uh, investing the time with dedication is the main thing so i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one and all